What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Right behind me is a Major Ludi SML07 Smith machine. Uh, full disclosure guys, this company hit me up and uh, they want they give it to me for free and all they asked is to give an honest feedback review. And it's coincidence because we've been looking to add a little small gym, something for our garage as you can see. I have some pull-up bars already here that I, I use. Most of you already know uh, I do almost 100% body weight, but sometimes we want to do exercises that are in the gym. And sometimes, most of the time, honestly guys, I don't have time to go to the gym. So it's nice to get something like this where I can utilize cable machines, uh, Smith machines, uh, these type of grips for a pull-up bar where it's really low to the ground and I could grab it. Uh, makes it really convenient. And we've been looking for a machine like this and it came at a perfect timing for them to send us this, to test it out. We built it together and I would say, fairly easy to put together as far as instructions uh, with two people. It'll take you about two, two and a half hours. Uh, very easy to understand from what I could tell already uh, when I built it and the sturdiness, me getting on this bar here, it's very secure. You could do muscle ups, you could do pull ups, no problem. This, this thing ain't even bolted on the ground, but it's very secure looking at everything, how it's set up. And I'm gonna give you guys an honest feedback. I'm gonna go through the whole week of training using this machine and I'm gonna utilize a lot of these attachments and I'm gonna tell you guys what I think of it. Um, again, it's really exciting because as you can see, it has a, a lot of uh, attachments, a lot of stations that you will see at your typical commercial gym, but it's right here in your garage, in your home, anywhere you wanna put it. And it doesn't even take that much space, which is exactly. another problem that most people have finding something that would actually is like a total body gym you there's so many modifications that you could do they sent us also other attachments that you can see i mean we don't have this full setup just yet we're going to get like a floating shelf so we could put all that but all that came with it um you have also an attachment for the landmine you have these also that detach so you can set up a safety bar for when you're doing squats or deadlifts and the cables come go all the way to the floor all the way up above your head so the adjustments are really nice this comes off which is uh just so that way it could hold the rack for either um deadlifts or for benching it's really exciting because there's so many things that you can actually modify and do at home. You don't need a specific uh, gym equipment in order to get the most out of your workouts to hit every single uh, muscle group at your own house in your garage. I would say this is a garage piece of, of equipment, but, and most people have a garage. So this so is does, really great. Full disclosure, I mean, it comes with mostly everything. The only thing that it will, will require is if you already have weights, good. If not, you're gonna have to purchase some weight plates that it runs on a pulley system that you use your own weights or you could have to buy those separately. But you stack up the, the amount of weight that you wanna use for the pulley system or it also comes with the bar on the Smith machine and it has a storage for an extra bar if you wanna get, which, which we, we already got. have. We already have another, another bar. So when we do uh, freestanding squats here or deadlifts where we could raise this up, raise this down, um, but other than that, it's pretty solid as far as mm -hmm. like what it comes, it's ready to go. All you need is a few weights. So if you could purchase those afterwards, if you have them, great. But it's, it's a really uh, great home machine that you can start with. And again, we're gonna go through a full week. Today, we're gonna start off with legs. So we're gonna do a leg workout, show you some of the exercises that we do on this machine. And then followed up, I'm gonna do another workout uh, every day this week until I finish all of them. And at the end, I'll give you a full review of what I think of the machine. Let's go. Mm. All right, guys, so I'm actually doing a modified leg extension using the cable. So I have an ankle strap and attached to the cable machine. I'm feeding it through under the bench. I'm gonna do single leg. You could attach it for both legs, but because we don't have enough weights just yet, I'm gonna just do single leg. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start just like a normal seated position. And then you're gonna contract. Think of it as a wave from your knee up to your hip. And you're going to contract your quads right here. I like to come down slow and then come up. All right, next, since I already have the ankle straps on, I'm gonna do a glute kickbacks, so standing kickbacks using the cables. All 
And you don't wanna go to a point where you arch your back. Just enough to feel the glute activate. All right, next we're gonna do some deadlifts. We already got the safety bars here. You could add, put them at any height. You know, grab an appropriate level weight. All right, fam, so deadlifts are one of my personal favorite compound exercises, but because of my neck fusion and the spinal injury that I had, I couldn't do them for a long time up until now. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to even strengthen yourself to do a deadlift because that is one of the most injury prone exercises because a lot of people tend to utilize their low back a little bit too much. So I'm just gonna show you the top portion, which you're using the safety bar right here so you can get used to the motion. You're gonna to wanna to, um, use your hand as a hook and not to grip it because this is, otherwise you're gonna to start to load the spine a little bit too much and it's gonna engage a lot of the other muscles that we don't want. We wanna keep it more on our legs. But so we're going to go ahead and come up to the bar. You wanna have your feet shoulder width apart. You want your hands even, so I like to just find where you, you feel that grip on both ends. I'm just gonna use my four fingers, not my thumb. And I'm going to just sit back a little and come up and down. Just that portion. Trust me, this is gonna save your low back in the long run if you start to do deadlifts like this, if you've never done them. So again, sit back, lift, come down, sit back, lift, come down. And it's really easy to reposition yourself, say if you lose your grip, like I'm gonna demonstrate right here. That's what the safety bar is for. We're gonna do some back squats here. We're gonna leave the safety bars right here at the bottom just in case for safety. And we all, we also put the attachments here to hold the, the bar right here. So we're gonna do the back squats right here. Uh, you could, actually I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror to make sure I'm keeping good form. Just step back a little bit. Normal, normal stance. Down, up. Sadly, my back is not well enough for a free back squat, you know, with the bar. So, but the Smith machine, it can also be really, really good um, to help you strengthen your legs just like you would a squat bar. I'm gonna show you two different variations you do in the exact same set. So I'm gonna start with narrow stance to get more of my glutes and my hamstrings, and then I'm gonna bring my feet close up and I'm gonna get hit more of my quads. And it's actually gonna stabilize my hips better um, so whether you have an injury or you don't, I suggest you give these a try. You wanna come up below the bar. All right, so we're gonna get underneath right here, feet shoulder width apart. So we're gonna come down, just a normal squat. Then I'm gonna walk my feet right in front and it's gonna be, you don't, you don't want your feet to touch, but you want it to be close. So that way, and then make sure you're pushing your knees out. And you're gonna hit hamstrings, quads, glutes, everything you need for a leg day with using the Smith machine. All right, another cool exercise that we're gonna do on this machine, it, it does have a landmine at attachment right there. So we uh, just hooked up our bar on it. Already an attachment is already put in place. We slap on the weights. And then from right here, we're gonna do some presses with extensions. So we're gonna come down. We're gonna make sure that we step a step back. And from right here, we're gonna go from side, from one side. And extend, come back on the other side. Really press 
Do your quads as you come up. All right, so I'm gonna show you another exercise that you could do is a sumo squat using the landmine. So it's kind of similar to like if you have those dumbbells and you kind of lower, you're lowering yourself down. In this instance, I could set myself up sturdy, get my posture. I interlock my fingers personally and then just come up. And it's gonna give you a different feel through the movement. All right, even though we do, we're doing legs, every workout I gotta finish with some pull-ups because I'm trying to get my back strength again. So ladies, if you didn't know, legs, when you're doing legs, it actually releases um, more testosterone. I mean, not as much as a guy, but enough to give you some upper body strength. So I like to do um, an upper body movement that I need more strength for. My legs are already warmed up and getting blood flowing all over my body so I could do it. So um, Frank set this up for me. Um, we're using the attachment that's for the bar, but we put a resistance band to be able to give me some assistance better than just throwing it over. I don't like when the rope is, or the, um, sorry, the resistance band is rubbing up against my legs. It's very uncomfortable for me. So set this up, get your grip, come down right here, and then make sure, I like to stretch right before and then rotate my scaps back and then come up. And then if that's easy, you can use a thinner resistance band until you're able to do a complete pull-up. Okay, the next day I train back. Uh, I like to start off with some weighted pull-ups. What I really like about the machine is that the pull-up bar is not too high up, so you can just grab onto the bar straight from the floor and it makes it easier for you to do weighted pull-ups, which I do a lot frequently. And it has different grips, wide grips and inner grips. Okay, next using the handles, I did kneeling down, lat pull downs. Uh, honestly, the motion is really smooth with the weights on the pulley system. I really like to do this exercise because uh, you work each side separately. So if you have a weak area in your back, this is a really good exercise to work on your weak areas, uh, whether it's your left or your right. It's a really great exercise and it feels great. The next exercise we're doing is a straight arm lat pull down using the included straight bar. Again, using the pulley system with the weight, the weight distribution feels really smooth and it feels like you're actually at the gym, the same motion uh, right here from home. So I'm really surprised on how smooth this thing is. Uh, this particular exercise I like to do and I recommend uh, when training for a muscle up, it mimics uh, part of the muscle up movement. So I definitely recommend this particular exercise in your back training days. Okay, next exercise I did is a seated row attachment. This is a really cool spot on the machine that it has. It even has placeholders for your feet so you could just support yourself and do the row. Bring the cable all the way down and grab the V attachment that it comes included. It also comes with other attachments, but for today I got the V attachment. It's a really good exercise that you could include in your back training. You could also do this with the bench, but I chose to do it with the floor today. Okay, next exercise I did are bent over rows. So I just loaded up the bar on the Smith machine and then I lowered it down to the bottom start position and I proceeded to do the bent over rows. Uh, the motion is actually really smooth. Uh, I really like how it helps you with your form. So making sure you keep the correct motion with the exercise, which is really great. The following day I did chest. So I started off with some cable flies, uh, utilizing the cable attachments on both sides. What's really great about these attachments is you could actually lower the height of these uh, cables to really hit different parts of your chest. I have them at the very top, but you could also lower them and do the flies from the bottom. Okay, next exercise I did were some chest dips. Uh, I really like the accessories that it comes with with these two uh, attachments. 
this is a way to create a dip attachment for you to do dips and you could place this on the bars here at different heights so if you're a taller person you could put it up higher a uh, shorter person lower and it has two different grips a narrow grip and a wide grip i use a wider grip here that way i could really target the chest leaning in to really get that stretch to work out the chest uh, really sturdy really happy with this attachment here the next exercise i did was a flat bench press utilizing the smith machine uh, what i like about doing the bench press here on the smith machine is it allows you to keep good form uh, given that you make sure that you keep your elbows at a 45 degree angle it's a really good exercise to really push through that weight nice and smooth through the machine next up i elevated the bench to do the incline bench press uh, again utilizing the smith machine it allows for a very smooth motion going up and down making sure you keep your form and you concentrate on just pressing the weight up very solid exercise to do okay next day was shoulders and abs day and i started off with some rear delt flies utilizing the top cable attachments on the pulley system again the pulley system is really smooth the attachments uh, are really great and you could lower the attachments from the top all the way down to the bottom next i lowered the cable attachments all the way to the bottom so i could do some front delt raises with the supplied handles Again, the pulley system is very smooth and I'm able to do uh, these raises each arm separately, which is really cool, especially if you're trying to work weak areas. Next exercise I did were some seated barbell presses using the Smith machine. Uh, what I really like about the rail here is that it makes sure that it stays on track on the rail with the motion to make sure that you're properly pressing at the right spot to really maximize those presses. Next, I went back to the pulley system on the handles. I lowered it all the way to the bottom. Again, it's very smooth to navigate from the top to bottom on this cable attachment. Uh, I went ahead and did some side laterals to see the motion of it. And again, same thing with all the other pulley movements, uh, very smooth. Um, I'm able to get tension throughout the whole movement of this exercise. Next exercise I did is an upright row. So I got the smaller bar attachment that uh, the machine comes with and I hooked it up at the bottom. Same thing again with the pulley system, with the weight, very smooth. Uh, you could really get the tension, time under the tension throughout the whole movement if you take a step back with any of these exercises on this pulley system. Next, I did some leg raises utilizing the handle pull-up bars at the very top. It has two wide grips and also has two narrow and close grips. I like these type of bars when hanging on the bar because these type of grips makes it a lot easier on your back and on your shoulders so you can really just focus and concentrate on the ab exercise and on the movement instead of having some discomfort that most people have when they're just hanging from the bar next i attach the dip attachments once again that way i could do some leg raises uh, again this is really great with these bars because you could adjust the height of these bars so if you're a taller person you could adjust these higher and they're very secure and they also have two handles they have a narrow handle grip like the one i'm using right now this is a lot easier on your back on your shoulders so you can really again concentrate on the ab exercise at hand next day was arm day and i started the day with some bicep curls using the handles at the very bottom position of the pulley system taking a step forward ensures that i get constant time under tension on the bicep and doing them separately like this ensures that both biceps are getting equal work okay so next i got on my knees and using the same handle attachments from the bottom position of the pulley system i did some hammer curls i like to do curls unilaterally that way i'm able to maximize each contraction with each arm so if i have a weaker arm or a stronger arm i make sure that both arms are working proficiently and next i just stood up and this time we're going to do some overhand grip curls again working a different part of the bicep this time doing the overhand is highly overlooked and again the pulley system is very smooth making sure there's always time and intention and doing these separately is a must i did some 21 so using the narrow grip on the station i started with seven pull up partial pull ups from the top and then from there i did seven more partial pull ups from the bottom and after this i will do seven full range 
pull-ups for a total of 21 pull-ups non-stop i like to do this at the very end of my workout to truly exhaust my biceps to make sure that i really get that extra pump extra blood flow in there and these two grips in the middle are perfect for that as far as tricep i hooked up the handle attachment all the way at the top put on some weight and then from right here i did some underhand cable presses just gra having grabbing onto the pole for support really squeezing and making sure there's always time and attention with this move it's really great motion again with the pulley system for my next tricep exercise i grabbed a small straight bar that comes with the machine and i did some tricep press downs making sure my arms and elbows are close to my torso the pulley system again is really great in creating the time and attention throughout these exercises as long as you step take a step back the motion is very smooth and i'm really liking the way it's moving for my next tricep exercise, I lowered the pulley system handle all the way to the bottom to do some overhead tricep extensions. Uh, what I like about this swivel is that you could just walk around and move anywhere with these. So you could get closer, you could get more away, and there's always time and attention with this. So it's really great and versatile and moving to make sure that you're comfortable with, with this exercise no matter where you do them. Okay, so the very last exercise, I did some skull crushers on the Smith machine. The height of the bar is a really good height, in my opinion, because it provides a nice stretch for the bottom position. I did this in the advanced movement, but if you're a beginner, you get on the knees and do an effective skull crusher as well. All right, guys, that was a, a full week of training using the Major Duty SML07 Smith machine. As you can tell, we went through a whole week of different exercises, a lot of stuff that you could do. Me and my wife really enjoyed using this machine, the functionality of all the different attachments, the cables, the pulleys, uh, even the bars, the height of it. Uh, there's just so many good things to say about this, so I really recommend it. Again, full disclosure, they did give it to me for free and I'm giving you an honest review. It's also, uh, we thought when uh, we got it, it was gonna be kind of big, but it's not too big, it fits in a garage really easy to assemble and at the price point it's really hard beat to beat it. you can't yeah. beat this price if you want something that's almost like a mini gym yeah it's multifunctional. um we're still doing a lot with it so you know there's all kinds of different variations that you could do that say for example like you know I, you saw me do the variation with the leg extension um there's so many things that'll really push you as an athlete. We don't want to just be limited by just one form of training. This is essential for any type of training, regardless of what your sport is. It's going to be useful for anybody, really. Like, and then you saw a taste of some of the exercises. Yeah. This is just a taste of what you can do. There's so much many other so exercises many I could do. Because obviously I do a lot of body weight, but I also like to do some weight training here and there. I like to mix it up, by the way, we do have a hybrid training program coming soon. Me and my wife have a body weight training and compass with some uh, weight lifting. So we're gonna have hybrid training programs coming soon and we're gonna show you more exercises as, as we get close to that. And that's actually how we met. We've always incorporated bodybuilding and body weight training because, because we have personally seen it work on multiple levels of athleticism. I was in the Marine Corps at the time. Frank was at the height of his calisthenics career. And weight training, using um, barbells, weights, even the Smith machine. Like, I actually personally never used to like the Smith machine until I was actually learning how to use deadlifts. But there's so many uses for it, so don't discount. Any of the things that you see here, trust me, it's, it's a lot of fun when you finally can start to unlock the potential in your body, which is what we hope to help you with, with that program. Exactly. Looking forward to producing more content for you guys, more workouts coming soon. So be on the lookout. And uh, I know you guys wanted to see it. It's in your mind. Can this withstand a muscle up? Can I do a muscle up? I haven't done yet. I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, so you can see the sturdiness of it. It even has this to check you, to check your form. Yeah. Uh, but you could raise this up, raise it out. It's a uh, different grips. But Uh, pretty safe to do muscle ups, to do anything you can with these, to utilize different grips like the narrow grip, the overhand grip. Again, if you guys enjoy this type of content, uh, any type of workouts that you'd like to see, 
Just put it down in the comments. Also, if you're interested in this machine, uh, I do have an affiliate code that, that'll help you save some money. The link is in the description. The Major Ludi SML07 Smith machine. Check it out.